Hey everybody, Joe from Price Tag Aquariums here, and I'm here to tell you guys about Imperial Tropicals and my experience buying fish online. So let's get started. Yeah, that was my one and a half year old daughter recognizing all the fish in their individual bags. <laughs> Anyways, I went with Imperial Tropicals, and I gotta tell you, the packaging was actually really well done. I was pretty impressed. And all the fish, as you can tell from looking at this one so far and the rest of them, they're pretty lively. These are all in Buna that I got. This one's called a Swedish Hongi, a three to four inch unsexed, but from the way I understand it is that one's actually a male. Um, these are red cheek Trophius. I got them in a pair. Um, that one there's the male right there. And then the female, it's just that silver one that you'll see me grab here next because you can buy them in pairs and they give you that option to do that instead of buying just individually. But each fish that I've been grabbing out of here, you can tell were really lively and they were active. And it seemed like the trip over to my house was pretty successful. There was hardly any water inside the styrofoam box there and everything was packaged double bagged, which is definitely a plus. I wasn't expecting that either, but end up getting a couple bumblebee cichlids because I've never had these before. But yeah, there was really not much to complain about. This one here is the one hat that I got. It's called a Walter Eye hat. And I got this guy because the one male that I did have I ended up moving into my main display tank upstairs. So I bought this as a replacement to put into my breeder tank that's right up here. And at the time, this was my only tank available to make as a 30-day quarantine tank, and I did not want to put him with the Imbunas just to be on the safe side. But he seemed pretty healthy, just like all the other ones were. And I always recommend doing at least a 30-day quarantine just to make sure that all your fish are happy, they're healthy, that their colors are looking good, and there's no fin damage and they get along with everybody else within that 30 day quarantine and you have no issues before putting them in your main display tank. And trust me, I know from experience that this is totally worth the wait before putting them in. So under Imperial Tropicals recommendation is the drop and pop method as opposed to the drip acclimation process. A lot of times when you do the drip method, it is mostly geared towards sensitive inhabitants but as far as African cichlids go, they're pretty hardy and they usually can handle the drop and pop method a little bit better. But if you're worried about the uh, pH levels and temperatures and the adjustments for fish, then you can go that drip acclimation route. But the drop and pop method is what Imperial Tropicals recommends whenever you get your fish. So I was okay with that. And the fish were pretty active, like I said before, and I was okay with going that route. I usually acclimate my fish in the bag anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the process, the type of fish, and the situation. And I think that's a good time frame, personally. On a side note too, that Imperial Tropicals does give back a store credit on any fish that are DOA or are dead on arrival but it has to be received within two hours of delivery according to the shipper's tracking information and they have to be clearly shown the fish in their unopened bag. So basically in a nutshell everything has to be documented with photos and their videos and to contact them immediately. But all has been good for me so far and I really can't complain too much because they've all been really looking good so far. And you've probably already noticed that there's a yellow lab in this quarantine tank already. And the reason for that being is she was holding and she's not. And I just wanted to get her strength back up. And since these are Rambuna that I'm putting in here, I placed a few extra rocks just for them to sort of get acclimated to their atmosphere and get acquainted to their new home. Makes it a lot easier for them too. The bumblebees. Seems like they're doing pretty good. They're swimming around with no issues. Even the yellow lab, I mean, there's no one that's really bothering her. 
There's the female red cheek trophies there, along with the male on the back. There he goes, another good look at her. The Swedish Hongi, I mean, that, that thing's gonna be a showstopper for sure. It's very vibrant in color. All right, well, let's take a good look at the Walter Eye. See how good he's doing after the acclimation in the bag. And then uh, we'll get him in the tank. Now, I have to give good props to my wife here because she was taking care of my daughter while doing all the camera work in this. So she did pretty well during this whole entire thing. <laughs> so anyways, one good helpful tip that I can also give to you guys when the fish get acclimated to the 30 day quarantine period is whenever you're feeding them for the first time or first day or so, to make sure you give them a high quality food and then make sure they're not spitting it out or anything like that. But even if they do, sometimes it might take a day or two for them to get adjusted to a new diet compared to what they were used to before they get to your house. And even with that being said, you can always switch to a different food type to see if that works as well. And the main thing is just to make sure that they're eating correctly and that they are basically doing everything they're supposed to while monitoring your fish during the quarantine period. And of course, monitoring their interactions even after the first few hours is important as well. So anyways, onward to their new home. So I re-aquascaped this entire tank and then moved these guys into their permanent home where they will live on the rest of their lives, hopefully for a long time. All the fish checked out healthy. They were all eating great. And I've really had a great experience with Imperial Tropicals with these guys. Everything worked out exactly as I wanted to, but hey, I'd rather be safe than sorry than putting them in a quarantine tank first and then putting them into their home. So everyone's really starting to get used to their new home and they're starting to get to their points to where they're getting comfortable and it's really turned out well for me and I could be happier. And the Waltri as well is in his new 40 gallon breeder tank with four females. So I'm hoping we'll have a good success rate for this as well. But he's doing okay. No one's picking on anybody. Even though it was one added fish to the four, everyone's getting along and no issues there. So everything's healthy and everything's working out great. So my experience with Imperial Tropicals has been wonderful and I hope I can convince you guys to buy fish online. Thanks for watching, I greatly appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.